every time I check back in on 151, something else is moving. Things are just absolutely popping off. It's insane. The market is at like a crazy point. So we're going to take a look at singles and sealed from 151, starting with the Blastoise, because uh, in a few videos ago, we were talking about the Charizard, and I was like, why aren't the Blastoise and the Venusaur moving as well? You know, there should be just as hard to pull. Well, it turns out it was just a little bit delayed. So we have Blastoise uh, right here up 63% in the past three months and 47% in the past month alone. Uh, just three months ago, you could have had this for $45. It's now going for 75 with the most recent sale at $85 for the Blastoise. This is wild. I remember uh, I picked this up for my master set. I think I got it on Mercari, but it was like 30 bucks, and that's just insane. Um, we'll zoom out to the one year here. Obviously, we're going to be at a one-year high. Uh, the lowest you could have had this on TCG was about 40. Yeah. So Blastoise is moving. So then I go, okay, that's that's a good. If the Charizard's going to move, I want to see that some of the other ones move. Saw the Blastoise. So what about Venusaur? Boing. 61% in the past three months. One month chart, 51%. So uh, you could have had this as low as, it was around the same, like 40 uh, and now it's practically seventy dollars, with last solds being seventy-five, so seventy-four, seventy-four, eighty-six on the Venusaur. Uh, one year, it's going to be the same thing. One year high, right? Huge price increase. Um, we're going to talk about where these cards are going to end up uh, in a second, but uh, we'll touch on the Charizard real quick. So, you see what the Charizard did? It's crazy. Sixty-five percent gain past three months. Fifty-eight percent the last month alone, right? Uh, obviously, when you're high here, big growth. Um, but so what happened was Charizard ran up to 217 and it's come down a little. So that's usually, usually when we have a big, big spike increase really fast, uh, usually it comes off of that. We saw that with the alt art boom um, and it usually settles higher than these lower points. So uh, 189, we're still seeing like about 200 sales, but also like in the high 180s. Um, so we'll see where this settles, um, but if the other cards, like the Blastoise and the Venusaur, follow this pattern, um, depending on how high they spike, expect them to retrace a little bit. I mean, that's pretty normal. It can't always sustain. It can't always go up forever. Uh, usually it, it's stair steps, right? So Charizard's come down a little. Still huge growth. Still 65% up. So, I mean, at one point it was 81% up. And there was a sale, I think, yeah, highest sale on here was $300, which is wild. Whoever sold that, congrats to you. Um, and we have the Charmander, kind of a similar-ish looking chart. Not quite as steep of a spike, but once again, 62% gain um, in the past three months, 46% coming in the last month, uh, one year high, obviously. Uh, last solds, 44 and 50 then there was a, is this a Japanese? Anyways, Japanese should be added now. Japanese has its own section, so that should be coming a thing of the past, hopefully. So Charmander, doing good things. We got the Zapdos, one of my favorite cards from the set. Uh, not as big of a spike. Not as big. Maybe this is, like I said, a little delayed. Maybe this is coming later. Uh, I would think that this would run with the other cards. We'll see. 18% um, up in the past three months and 16% in the past month zoom out to the one year it's not really that much higher than back here uh but 46 dollars still 12 percent gain on the past year last sales 46 and 50. so that's the the zapdos um we'll see if that one moves it, it might just be delayed people might you know charizard comes first then you go blastoise and venusaur then once those cards get high you go to the next sir maybe we'll see we'll see what happens um speaking of sirs we have the Alakazam, it's not too crazy, only up 9% past three months and almost 6% in the past month. One year, not even at its one year high. Back here, it was at 37, uh, but last solds, we're seeing almost 37, 34, and 38. So we'll see where the Alakazam uh, shakes out. Then we have the Squirtle. Once again, pretty big gains here. Um, not super parabolic yet, but... 36% in the past three months is pretty wild, and 25% in the past month. With This one's at its, about at its one year. It uh, looks like it might have come down just a little. I don't know. might still be running up because, look at this last sold, 49.98 and 43, but there's a 34 here, so 
but fifty dollar last sale um so the squirrel maybe kind of taken off right now um there's 145 currently available on tcg player then we have the bulbasaur uh spike into 48 percent up in the past three months and 34 percent in the past month zoom out to the one year obviously at its one year high um last sold we're seeing 37 33 33 so 37 is kind of a little bit higher than some of those recent sales we'll see if that if that holds um then we have the charmeleon uh it's not really up that much from this point right here but uh on the three month chart 30 percent up it's at 28 dollars and 21 percent growth in the past month which is 20 percent growth in a month is really good it is at a one-year high you can see uh 42 percent up uh, on the one-year chart and last sold we're seeing 30 see this is where things are bouncing all over the place 30 dollars, then 40 then 30 then 25. So something you guys have to understand as we look at the Dragonair is when these prices spike, people are going to come in and low cut and low ball, and they're going to bring the price down because for them, potentially, depending on if they got it or pulled it or whatever, whatever price they got it at, they, they're up, right? Um, so the Dragonair, seeing some good growth, like down here, it was $15. Now it's at 23, 46% growth. One month chart is not working for some reason. Uh, the one year is 27% up in the past year. Uh, this was as low as 13, and it's at its one year high, with last solds being 23, 22, and 30. I don't know what this $70 one is. It's not letting me pull that down. Um, we're going to say that's an anomaly. We got the Ivysaur. Um, not as like straight up of a chart. It's kind of gone up, down, up, down, kind of in this range. It's been in the $20 before, so it's, you know, but... Uh, up 30 percent in the pa on the three month chart and only about six percent in the past month and it's not at its one year high it's one year high was back here at 25. so last sold are seeing 22 19 22. so uh, that one seems to be like it's a little bit on the way down then we have the war turtle 31 percent gain on the three month chart and 12 percent in the past month one year's looking like Ooh, just came off of its one year high 24 right yeah just came off of its one year high so it's retracing a little bit right now uh 24 24 20 25 last solds then we're going to take a look at some sealed and then we're going to jump over some japanese so booster bundles uh these were getting restocked like crazy if you were in the discord there were notifications these were happening amazon walmart gamestop like all over the place and that seems like that brought the price down um i think it yeah it was Around here, it was at like 50, came down to 41, ran back up to 50, came back down into the 40s, and now we're back up into the $51 range, but last sold at 56. So 56, 50, and 55. So sealed product, uh, it's hard to get right now. So 151 sealed is doing really well, uh, as well as a lot of singles, the set just taking off. Um, so this is the uh, normal ETB, once again, we just covered this, but it just keeps growing. 41% growth in the past three months and 21% in the past month alone. We're obviously at a one year high, uh, $95, but last solds, 97, 97, 97, 97. So it looks like the market price on this is now 97. Um, listed median price is 110. So looks like unless we get some massive restocks or reprints, this thing's gonna continue to run. Um, then we have the Pokemon Center ETB. I mean, same thing. 72% gains in the past three months. 151 cannot be stopped. 52% uh, up in the past month. 107% in the past year. Um, it's at pretty much a one-year high. Uh, last sold's 234. And we got 220, 230, but 234 is the last sold. 234. That is insane. Then we have the UPCs. Still just going up. Cannot be stopped. Uh, 196 market value. 65% up in the past three months. 40% in the past month alone, and obviously we're at a one-year high. Last sold, 200. 199, 199. 200 and 200. These were at Costco all day for like, I think they were 80 or 90. All day long, and now they're 200. Um, what else we got? So the booster bundle displays. Um, some people in the restocks, um, in the Discord server, including myself, um, were able to get sealed uh, booster bundle displays. Now those 20%, almost 20% gain in the past month alone, 
and not that much in the on the three month chart because it was up at around 500 it came down to 440 now it's at 525 but last sold 545 and 530 there was even a 550 sale down here so uh sealed booster bundle displays whoo they're real up there um yeah these i mean with how the demand is outpacing the supply because we were getting a lot like there was massive restocks happening well i don't know i don't know about massive but they seemed pretty big a lot of people were tons of people in the discord we're getting lots of boxes right but it just can't be stopped it's just climbing and climbing and climbing um now we're gonna take a look at some japanese and then i'm gonna have my closing thoughts at the end so this is tcg player just added japanese so there's not a ton of sales on here but i just wanted to uh, take a look at it so this chart is like just happened right um but last sold on japanese booster boxes was 100 we had some in the 80 range 80 90 100 kind of in that range for the boxes so it got me thinking what's the price of the japanese charizard with the english one taking off uh, japanese has always been cheap but where's it at um same thing we're not really going to see anything on the chart here it's just kind of it's not enough data yet but we can see the last solds like 10 109 109 110 110 110 so pretty solid in that price range then we got the Mew. Um, the Mew in Japanese is not a promo. It's You have to pull it. Uh, so it's more expensive. 52, 52, 54, 45. Uh, last sold on those. And then Zapdos, one of my favorite cards again. Uh, about 38 bucks, 37. The Blastoise, we're seeing 38, 40 range. So pretty consistent on the Japanese side uh, with the Venusaur being around 30 bucks. Uh, there's some higher. 30 was the most recent, but 36, 36. So, some things that you guys um, should be thinking about. Um, the With 151 just absolutely blowing up. Um, we've seen the Charizard retrace now a little bit. Um, so, at some point, um, you would think that the Blastoise and Venusaur would retrace again a little bit. Um, the, the Charizard, it's yet to be seen where it lands at. So a lot of times with big run-ups, you guys can go back and look at the alt art boom that we just had in like May. Um, they ran up real high and then they retraced. They came back, but they were higher than their highs before, um, even when they retraced. So um, the Charizard, because of the 151 hype right now, the Charizard could continue to run up. Uh, some of that um, new cards are getting put on the market, right? People are going to eat those up. Um, after those get eaten up, it could run up again. It, it could run up again, or it could continue to come down. It could come down to like 175 and hold there. We don't know. Um, it's just something to keep an eye out for. Same thing with the like the Blastoise and the Venusaur. Wherever they stop, they're probably going to run down a little bit. It's just kind of what happens. Nothing just infinitely goes up. They always come down, and then they come back up if they're going up again. So um, the singles are... Most of the singles are just taken off. So the set as a whole, very strong, demand, insane. Um, the sealed product. So this is something that you guys need to think about. Just have in the back of your mind is more reprints are possible. I'm not, I, I don't know when that would happen or how much, right? Again, some people uh, say we're already in the reprint because um, we've been getting those bundles and everything and they've been just getting eaten up so fast, right? Well. I, the the Japanese market and the English market are not the same, but when you look at what the Pokemon company did with Japanese, they reprinted and reprinted, and they got that box price pretty much almost down to MSRP. I mean, we were getting the Japanese boxes were in the forty dollar range. They went from like two twenty and down to like forty in the forties, and now they're back up to like around a hundred. So, not saying that that's going to happen, but if they follow the Japanese side, they could they could um, they could run these prices into the ground. Um, I don't think that's what's going to happen, but I would be I would be very shocked if at some point we don't see another big reprint and bring these prices back down. Because right now, what we're seeing is a lot of new collectors are getting priced out. They're getting priced out of the market. It's great for sealed investing, right? We're doing really well, the sealed investors, but the collectors are they're they're struggling to find product at an affordable price or they're spending a lot of money and that's just the reality of where 151's at so it's kind of prime for a reprint 
Um, another reprint, if you want to say that what we just got was a reprint, at, at least one more. Um, it's too popular of a set, and they like making money, so you do have to think that that is a large possibility. Um, it is by no way a guarantee. The Pokemon Company has not really been reprinting modern sets too much, uh, with the exception of like Scarlet and Violet Base and some of those early sets, so we'll see. The holiday season might tell us some things, but um, it's just something to be aware of, um, that it is a possibility. That's all I'm saying. Um, and it would make sense. So, uh, but the 151 hype is real. It's crazy. Um, I'm here for it. So, um, I still haven't finished my master set. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not that many cards away. Uh, now things just got more expensive. But, uh, yeah, I'm not that far away. I need to get that done. <laughs> uh, yeah, master set. But, um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I'm rambling. So, I will catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.